Hey guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room in a good way. Let's talk about Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, awesome game at the moment and I thought like, uh, yeah, now it's a few days out. I'm not exactly sure, like a week or a week now. Uh, why not making a glass tier list uh, today? I prepared you something in tiermega.com. So we have here... Um, all the classes that we can put in the list. I will also say a little thing about it, also like what is maybe the best subclass and stuff like this, but overall I want to keep it kind of easy, uh, let it say like this. So okay, we start, let me see, we start, first of all I want to make clear you should play whatever you want, it's not a competitive game, but for, for sure some classes are better than others so talking about effectiveness how fast you can play the game how easy how less often you die and stuff like this um there is no d tier already and there's only one class into the c tier and i would put there the monk uh monk is pretty weak to be honest uh best subclass would be the way of shadow uh, but overall is melee which is already not that great, but if you have enough survivability, okay, you can do it. But overall, I think Monk is the weakest class at the moment in the game. Then we have the B tier, and like I said already, I think every class is playable, so not a lot to think about it. I put first Druid into the B tier. Uh, Druid is a hybrid class, so DPS, Caster, Shapeshifter, uh, best subclass is in my opinion circle of the land and yeah you can definitely have quite fun with the druid has some good things about it some bad things about it overall b tier is already fine c tier is as well fine so if you are into the class design just play it uh so druid there's one other class into the ct uh, b tier and that's for me pretty pretty sad because it's usually in all the games my favorite class that's rogue Rogue is as well pretty weak, is a little bit better than Monk because of the stealth and mechanics and stuff like this. Um, yeah, so sneak attacks and yeah, best subclass is assassination. So you definitely can have a strong, can have a strong Rogue. That's not, uh, not that deal, but for sure there are other classes are just better right now but if you love the glass design, glass design if you love sneak, love sneak attacks things like this um why not playing a rogue i mean it's kind of in every game uh, an awesome class uh, when it comes to class design and feeling eight year we come to the next melee because like i said at the moment i would say melees are pretty weak but we already in the eight year we talk uh, we have the barbarian uh Barbarian is just the best melee at the moment in the game besides Paladin, fight, uh, Paladin and Fighter. Yeah, I forgot them, sorry. Uh, Barbarian, so kind of the same like Rogue and Monk, but already has much more survivability. So that makes it much better. And the best subclass is Berserker. Then we come to the Warlock. Another pretty good class. Warlock, best uh, subclass is The Fiend. Uh, already a pretty good spellcaster class with Warlock. So overall, nothing you can make wrong with this. Then we're coming to Wizard. Some people maybe, if you are new to the game side, people maybe think, what is the difference between Wizard, Sorcerer, and Warlock? So overall, for sure, they are all spellcasters, but... They have pretty unique designs and spells and stuff like this, so there is a difference. But for sure, it's a much bigger difference between a wizard and a monk than a wizard and a sorcerer, just to make that clear. We have here the best subclass is Evocation. Then, Ranger. It's a pretty cool class with a lot of nice designs. And the best subclass is Beastmaster. 
and yeah, like you can already guess with Beastmaster, you have a lot of control about bees around the world, uh, which leads to some pretty cool interactions. So Beastmaster, Ranger, if you love that glass design, definitely go for it. Last but not least, in A tier is the Fighter. Fighter, maybe best melee class at the moment. Pretty strong, good survivability, good damage. So overall, if you like to play a melee, why not go for it? Battlemaster is the best subspec for this. Now we come to the S tier. All S tier classes are pretty strong. Maybe I would say Bard is the strongest. I put it first, even if I always you should start from behind. But I think Bard is the strongest. Why? Because you control the whole group with playing that one character. And there is no Bard companion. Bard is so strong that if you want to have maybe the best and strongest team, you should play Bard by yourself. Uh, best subclass is... Let me see that quick. What was the name? Sorry about that. Uh, Colleague of Valor. Then we come to the Cleric. Cleric is also support and healer. Kind of similar to the Bard, but pretty different at the end as well. Best subclass is Light. Then we have the Paladin. Paladin can do everything like in most games that you maybe know that a paladin is included melee dps tank healer whatever you want whatever you need at the end of the day and the best one is oath of the ancients and last sts spec is sorcerer so pure dps wise uh, sorcerer is the best class at the moment i would say there's no doubt the best sub spec is uh, draconic bloodline so these are all the Baldur's Gate 3 classes in a tier list. Overall, as you can see, that maybe melees are not the best, but also not bad, just to make that clear. Uh, but Monk and Rogue are definitely struggling a little bit. Uh, maybe also Druid needs some changes in the future uh, to make it a little bit more fitting. But again, overall, we're talking about a single or a multiplayer game that you can play together with friends but it's not a competitive game so you should not give too much importance to what you see here but again as i explained already effectiveness how often you die maybe also that for example a bard you cannot get as a companion uh, if you want to overthink those things you can definitely do it and then i think you have some pretty nice choices i think at the moment my Recommendation would be playing a bard or playing a sorcerer. That's it for this Baldur's Gate video guys. Uh, like and subscribe. See you. Bye bye.